so guys let's see how we can install the Jenkins on the personal system for that uh, we can just directly move here okay see Jenkins is not working into my system so what I'm going to do is first of all the first step is the normal steps I would be installing the git okay I would be first installing the git into my system so where I would be going to the git and I would be using 64 bit git window setup now this is a 47 MB of set, uh, setup which is there and we have already uh, done obviously downloading our git we can directly download it from the window setup and use it directly click on yes here now we can install it now obviously uh, there was an uh, existing git in my system so first it would be removing an existing system and then would be installing the latest git so meanwhile if uh, meanwhile it is getting downloaded let me pause my recording and then we can continue it again now this is getting installed now if you're installing it for the first time it will ask you some of the details you don't have to make any kind of changes there just keep on pressing next 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 and at the last it will install it for you now we can see uh, it will get installed meanwhile let me go to google.com again okay let me go to google.com and this time I would be downloading Java 11 so when I download this Java 11 we, I would be downloading this uh, Java 11 archive okay just need to scroll down and you need to install this 64 bit installer 64 installer now when you select this okay let me again download it so 64 bit installer java and when I open this, this it will ask me for the acknowledgement I will acknowledge it and download JDK 11.0.15 now when I download it it will ask me for the username and the password now if you are first time if you are going to Oracle page you need to first create an account it will not ask you for any of the payment details nothing like that you can normally create an account on Oracle now here I already have an account so I would be using my existing account So I would be using my existing account at this point of time and you can see 140 MB of software is getting started it started getting downloaded after this is being downloaded I would be installing this particular software into my system okay so meanwhile on the back end it will start preparing to install it so just click on next next and the status would be updated and you will see within two minutes my java would be installed onto this particular system So let it install I don't want to pause this video so let it install let it take the time whatever it is taking so we are just launching the Java we are installing this Java here after this we are going to set up an environment variables for Java okay so I will just close it it's done now I can just go and set the environment variables for Java so edit system environment variables here you can go and open this environment variables 
create a new environment variable and give the name as java underscore home variable value you can browse the directory it's being installed in the c drive okay in the c drive and under program files you will see java so java 11 is there copy that and click on ok automatically the link will come in front of you here also click on new same java underscore home and this time i have already copied that link so i would be pasting it here now i have to set the path of my uh, files okay so in my uh, my executable files are there in the src folder so what i will do i will just either click on new here click here and open src okay so this is what i need to do and click on okay now to check if it is being done properly i will open cmd command prompt and i will echo java underscore home this is what i will echo and i'm getting the when i'm echoing it java underscore home i will get this jdk 11.0 the path of my jdk 11.0.15 which means my java is being installed properly after this is being done i would be installing maven so i would be just google searching maven so here there is a download button so here when you come down so you can either go to the home page and click on the download you need to ultimately reach to this page here here when you open it you need let's download the binary zip archive so we would be downloading this binary zip archive now this is an executable folder which would be downloaded you can directly extract this folder into your c drive you can directly extract this folder into the c drive itself yes okay now if you go to this this pc apache maven now this is being done here okay my apache maven is installed now i would be again going to the environment variable edit system environment variables here i will set go to the environment variables here again again i will set it m2 underscore home and the path would be this okay this would be the path paste it click on okay same thing here also m2 underscore home and the path here now you can double click on this and here also the same click on this new and put src folder link okay src folder link click on okay let me just show you the src folder also oh sorry we need to put bin folder i'm so sorry here you need to put the bin folder i made a mistake there so i will be just going back to my edit system environment variables I will go to the environment variables here I would be okay so here I will just, just double click on this path again and here it's a bin folder which is there by mistake I used src so here it would be bin and here also it would be bin folder I will show you this bin folder on my java jdk also so I will just copy that path or you can go to the C drive, go to the program files, go to Java and go to JDK 11.0.15 and go to this bin folder. All the executable files are there in this bin folder itself. So I have set it. So I have done the, those, that particular setting here. Now after this is being done, my Maven is also installed. Let me check if my Maven is running properly or not. I will again open a command prompt. I will use echo or let's see uh, maven version so mvn version yeah so if this java is not coming up here in your case guys just close it your cmd open it again and then do it it will work okay you can again open the cmd and you will see that it will now be working now the last step is i would be installing the jenkins 
so Jenkins download the Jenkins here so I would be installing for Windows so I would be selecting this Windows here and uh, it will start downloading Jenkins this is my personal system guys okay so it's a 92 MB of software it is some taking some extra time it is asking for 26 minutes to download it might be some issues with the internet right now so let's wait for it to get downloaded now Jenkins is being installed I will open it here I will install the Jenkins next next run it as a local system next test the port again I need to check whether 8080 port is enabled or not but yes I will for now I will just put it as a next now you have to ensure one thing guys in some of your systems it might be some another JDK might be there okay because it is possible that you might ha already have JDK 17 and it might take J JDK 70 or any other particular uh, JDK version you have to change it and change it to JDK 11.0 you have to ensure that you are using JDK 11.0 this is something you have to do it for those who for the people who are troubleshooting their issues they need to ensure one thing that uh, you need to again delete it and ensure that you are using JDK 11.0.15 next next install finish it now we have installed it let's open this okay https local host so right now let's try to open it on https let's see if we are able to open it now the site can't be reached is coming up okay so what i will do is i will try to first open it on http Earlier we were opening on HTTPS. Let's try to open it on HTTP. So what I will do is I will just yes uh, no. It is again giving me an error that it is not able to open. Most of you would be getting this error. Okay, so let me open it again. See, it's not it's not opening let's try what exactly is the problem in this let's try to troubleshoot the issue so it is not able to find the thing here and let me again try to open it let me again try to open it whether we are able to open it or not and here most of the people get stuck so I'm also getting a problem here the site cannot be reached let, I'm using HTTPS let me change it to HTTP So both the methods I have used it, it's not working. Okay, let's see if it is working. It totally depends on your ports. If it is work, it works, it's perfectly fine. Otherwise, we will do or find another method. Yeah. So as soon as you put HTTP, you will see it will start working, guys. See. Now it has started working. Jenkins is getting ready to work automatically it started working up here so you have to ensure one thing that you are using HTTP here see HTTP localhost this is what you need to open remove HTTPS if you are using HTTPS then it will not work for you guys so please take care of it okay use HTTP now still if you are not able to run it in that case what you need to do is you need to search for firewall you need to search for firewall so I will just search for windows firewall yeah windows defender and with advanced security i will just open this my system is getting hanged as well so see it's not getting starting it's not getting started up 
okay so it's not a problem let's see what exactly is the problem coming I'm just removing it. Yeah, it's got hanged. My system got hanged actually. Okay. Windows Defender with Advanced Securities. Let me open it for you. This is one of the old systems, that's why you might feel some lag which is coming up. Click on this inbound rule. Here you will see new rule. Okay, click on this new rule here. Now, here you can just select the port. Click on next. Port 8080. Click on next. Allow the connection. Perfect. Next, for all, give it as Jenkins port. You can give the name as Jenkins port here and finish it. Okay. Now we have given the port. Similarly, we can set it for outbound rules also. If you want, you can set for outbound rule. We can create a new rule here. Again, we want to allow the port. Next, port 8080. Next. Allow the connection. Next, next, finish. Okay, I can just put Jenkins. So you have to ensure one thing. You have to allow it here. By default, you will get it blocked. Please allow it here. Finish. So it's being done. Now again, I will go to the browser. I will just open localhost colon 8080. Now this started coming up. So this is how it works. Now you can just make, you need to ensure that you are not using Internet Explorer. You need to use the Chrome. Now you can just, this is the location. Copy this location. Okay, go here. Paste this location. Okay, now if uh, this will automatically, when you press enter here, you need to press enter. Then it will ask you how you need to open it. You can no, open it as a notepad automatically the link will come up or else the second method is you need to go here c c program data jenkins dot jenkins secret so this is where you need to go secrets here you will see initial admin password okay so you need to press enter open with notepad and this is the link copy this save this continue Now, it will ask you for install, uh, customize it. You can install the suggested plugins and you can see that your plugins are getting installed now. So meanwhile, it's getting installed. I will just wait. I will just pause the screen. Now from here in itself, you can put up your username, password, confirm password, and you can just directly move to the dashboard. So this we have done in our local system. So that would be all. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.